Let me tell you, it is you I want to marry. Dangerous. It's not even the stolen phone that is vexing me. It's the SIM card. African parent. 25 years, like, you have 20 years of experience. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chile here again with another video. For those who are new, I am Chile. So, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a very interesting topic and I'm about to shake and break some tables. We are doing the lies Nigerian still, okay? So many people are on this table which we're about to break today. I am also on this table too, so let's get to this because this is going to be very interesting. So, lies Nigerian still, number one I have is I'm on my way. Once a Nigerian says, I'm on my way, just know that the person is just entering the bathroom. Don't try me, don't distract me. Once a Nigerian says, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, you'll see me soon, you'll see me soon. That person is just entering the bathroom. That person is, is on his way, quite all right, on his way to where the bathroom, not on his way to your house or on his way anyway, on his way to what the bathroom. So just have that in mind, that is another, that is like the number one lie, that is the, what, I'm on my way. Nigerians are known for lateness. I think Africans, they're known for lateness. <sighs> Don't count on them. If you want them to get to a venue by two, tell them it's starting by 11 or 10 or nine. Thank you very much. Next one we have, I will get back to you. This one happens to mostly with online vendors. When, for example, I'm a customer and I want to buy a particular item and then I, I'm not seeing price there. You know, most of these sellers will tell you DM, DM for price or whatever. Look quiet. So uh, I ask for the price. They, oh, how much is this? I want to buy this. I want to purchase this. And I, oh, um, the gun goes for 50,000. I'll be like, Oh, nice. Okay, okay. I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. One day. The person is the person doesn't want to. The person is not buying. Is it that the price is too much, or when the person has looked at that and be like, nah, this this price doesn't fit this. It doesn't fit this dress. I'm not buying again. Once the customer says, I'll get back to you. I just forget about it. Ninety percent. Ninety percent of the time, forget about it. Next one, you have an emergency just came up. You've planned hangouts. You said, oh, we're going to meet here. We're going to have fun. We're going to meet here. Or we, have to, we are going to go for a party or go for this or go for that. And you told that introvert friend of yours. You planned with that introvert friend of yours. And then person, you not call the person when you're about to leave the house. And the person just says, oh, sorry. And I'm, an emergency just came up. I can't make it. There's no emergency. That person just wants to sleep. Or well, that person doesn't just feel like going up. But that going out. That person has already made up her mind or his mind that oh my, I'm not going out, but I've already planned a lie out with this girl or with this guy. When they say an, an emergency just came up, 90% of the time it is what it is a lie. Have that in mind. Next one is when a girl says I have a boyfriend. I don't, I don't really know about this thing, but I think most times when a girl doesn't like you, if you're approaching a, if you approach a girl and you, you, like, you want to get her number, you want to talk to her and stuff like that, and you say, oh, I have a boyfriend, please. It's so obvious that if the girl doesn't like you, Let me off! My eyes are snow! Oh, she actually has a boyfriend. But most times, that girl doesn't have a boyfriend. She doesn't have a serious boyfriend. She just wants you to like give her space. But these days, these men they no grill whether you have a boyfriend or not. They don't. They don't care. They will just come for you just like that. So that's another lie. Another lie is I just saw your call. Been busy or I didn't have credit to call back. You didn't have credit to what? Even go. Even go. Is it not bank? 
it's not these days buying credit who buys card these days nobody buys people hardly buy card like credit card i say credit card people hardly buy um i don't even know what they call it again but people hardly buy card so people just easily use their banks to make transfers in fact there are so many fintech companies um in the world today in the country today people can easily just make purchases like that so you want to lie and tell me that oh you don't have credit the person does you not want to call you back or oh, this is oh this, this like when you're trying to call someone back and you don't want the person to pick you call the person once the person doesn't pick you but then the person now calls me like ah, i called you now but you didn't pick i called you you didn't pick uh, stuff like that just to fulfill your righteousness that person did not want to call you back the person just call back to fulfill your righteousness have that in mind <laughs> next what we have is um okay um i have not been paid you understand <laughs> when you're asking someone for something or you need someone to help you out with some money you want to borrow money or something 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 or you want someone to participate in something and it has to do with money personally say i've not been paid that is the easiest smartest lie ever <laughs> And it's so reasonable because people can easily believe because companies these days that that's some stupid company that they will not end up paying you at due time you get it's so easy for someone to just tell a fellow person and say oh i've not been paid well, that's why i've not been able to contribute or i've not i won't be able to pay this month i won't be able to contribute for this and stuff like that it's so easy to, for them to say oh i've not been paid they don't chuck you money they have what they have chopped the money <laughs> so i have that in mind too next one when they say okay i just got back boys when they tell you it is you i want to marry <laughs> my dear run for your life those people are dangerous it could bounce me guys <laughs> run for your life oh, most of them see 90 percent of them are mm, they really have someone someone they are proposed love to so the love of their life so they're just lying to you so forget about it that christmas time when they come back and they to show off and tell you oh i just got back and stuff like that there they go girl another one is it's not even the stolen phone that is vexing me it's the sim card shift jaw that kind of lie see if my phone she gave me sim i don't even care about sim card eh i don't care let me give me my phone take the sim card <laughs> which sim card which sim card help which numbers do i have there can they buy me do, if my phone she gave me sim i take that sim card it can, will i be able to call someone and the person will send me money immediately and i'll purchase the phone immediately people are lucky to have this kind of people but it's not everybody that, that you get it so please give me my phone don't don't steal my phone let me leave my phone in peace funny enough they've never stolen i've no they've never stolen my phone before and anytime i hear people say oh they stole my phone, i cannot relate and i'm so happy and i'm so thankful and i know that and i know that they will never steal my phone in jesus name amen <laughs> Because after saving your hard earned money to buy a new phone and someone will tap it from nowhere because of what? Oh no. It go pay me die. <laughs> next one is um, your clothes will be ready next. Well, your clothes will be ready next week. Nigerian tailors. Nigerian tailors. Your clothes will be ready next week. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to leave it there. But not all Nigerian tailors are like that. We, are, we actually have those ones that keep their promises. Like once they tell you your clothes are going to be ready and so 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 days, your clothes to be ready. Like we have people like the Isima Apparels. That's my that's my official fashion designer. Like God, she's good. I'm going to put her handle on the screen so you guys can see. So yeah, tell me. Thank you very much. So another one is I used to come first in secondary school. African parents. African parents, there's African parents that did not come second or third or fourth or fifth. All of them came world first position. So if all of them came first position, where are the people that were coming second and where are the people that were coming last? Well, anyway, let's leave that for for another day. <laughs> 
So the last one I have here is LinkedIn Lights. I think LinkedIn Lights, is it LinkedIn? I mean LinkedIn, whatever, however they pronounce it. The lies they tell on that app. Oh God. 20 years, 20 years of experience. Eh? And you know how many years? You're 25 years, so you have 20 years of experience. Did you start working when you were five years old? <laughs> I don't understand. If you see some people's LinkedIn profiles, you just look, go and look at you and be like, I'm ashamed of you. You're not doing well, my girl. You're not, you need to improve. Most of them are just lying up and down. So my dear, if you're, if you're updating your LinkedIn, go and update it now. Put all the reasonable lies you can put there. Honestly, and those those lies you're putting there, make sure that as you're lying, you're also capable of doing the kind of work that is going to come your way. All right? So you are leading lies, oh lord, you don't want to go there. I'm going to stop there because hmm, the things I've seen with my eyes. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> so anyway, I think I've come to the end of this video. Oh, which other one, which other one? Is there any lie here again? So there's so many other lies, Nigerians and their lies, oh lord. I don't know if this will pass, it's, it's a generational thing. It's a generational thing, I don't know. Uh, we move anyways so if you're on this table i'm sure most of you watching this video most of you guys are on this table i hope you feel successfully you did not injure i hope you're all right <laughs> anyway we've come to the end of this video before i say rubbish and i hope you like make sure you like you comment subscribe it is chile and i'll see you in my next one bye Yeah, yeah, yeah.